And now let's get you updates from the poll-bound states. Voting for electing a 230-member assembly is underway in the state of Madhya Pradesh. 65,000 polling booths have been set up across the state with over 1.8 lakh security personnel deployed. While the BJP is eyeing the fourth straight term in office, the Congress is trying to also make a comeback in the state. मध्य प्रदेश के बेहतर भविष्य के लिए वोट है और इसलिए जैसे मैंने परिवार सहित आज अपने मतदान करके कर्तव्य का पालन किया है मैं सभी प्रदेश वासियों से ये निवेदन करूंगा कि वो विकास के लिए और मध्य प्रदेश की जनता की कल्याण के लिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी को अपना वोट अवश्य दें मतदान अवश्य करें इस बार हम जो ऑल वीमेन पोलिंग स्टेशन हैं जिनको पहले पिंक बूथ बोला जाता था वो लगभग 2000 पूरे मध्य प्रदेश में बन रहे हैं इसमें अलग अलग जिलों ने अपने हिसाब से ऑल वीमेन पोलिंग स्टेशन बनाए हैं इसमें पूरा मतदान दल और यथा संभव जो सुरक्षा कर्मी हैं वो भी महिला कर्मी रहेंगे All right, so uh, you just heard the chief minister there also being extremely optimistic about his chances. Remember, this is a high-stakes battle, to say the least. The Congress and the BJP, both uh, in a stiff contest to grab uh, the seats that are up for grabs, 230 of them, 116 is the majority mark. So that's the figure that both these parties are looking at. The, the, uh, in fact, the state votes to elect members for a 230-seat assembly. Results will be declared on the 11th of December. Most, of course, uh, see it as a direct fight between the BJP, that's gunning, that's, uh, gunning for a fourth straight term, and the Congress, that's uh, been out of power in the state since 2003. Uh, Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan is leading the campaign, uh, has been leading the campaign for the BJP. Congress has its trinity of Kamal Nath, Digvijay Singh and Jyoti Raditya Sindhya as the major faces of the campaign. Parveena joining me live with more information. Parveena, give us a sense of uh, the ground situation at the moment. Uh, where exactly are you? What is uh, it like among the voters as they come up to vote? What is the voter sentiment like? Give us uh, the latest, please. Well, we come to you live from Indoor and first let me show these visuals outside Kailash Vijayvargya's house. He is the face of, of Bhartiya Janta Party as far as MPNs to be specific Indoor is concerned. This is his residence and if you can see a decorated uh, Rath is just waiting for him. He's currently as, even as we speak is praying inside his residence. After offering his prayers he will leave from this place and go and cast his vote along with his uh, wife. We understand that a lot of respect and a lot of trust is, uh, you know, shown when it comes to Kailash Vijayavargya uh, in Indoor, and especially in this Nandanagar area um, of Madhya Pradesh and of uh, uh, Indoor. We have been talking to a lot of voters since uh, morning in different polling stations, and everybody has different kind of issues. We have been reporting uh, from qu different quarters, uh, from the interiors and uh, the urban areas of Indoor, and we understand that everybody have different expectations and. Some has problem and some are happy and have more expectations. So right. it's a very, very close contest as far as Madhya Pradesh is concerned for BGP and uh, Congress. It's neck to neck out of nine, eight seats were won last time in Indore by uh, BGP. Um, well, as far as Kailash Vijayavargya is concerned, they say it will go to nine. Hmm. But we'll have to wait and watch how many goes to Congress and how many goes to BGP. Right. Kailash Vijayavargya's son, uh, Parveen Akash, is contesting his maiden election. This time from Indoor 3 and this is again being looked at as a stiff contest between the BJP and Congress's Ashwin Joshi contesting from that seat. But Indoor, uh, like you said, you know, is being projected uh, by the BJP as an exemplary city because it is in the news for being extremely uh, high in the ratings when it comes to amenities. Uh, is the voter sentiment in favor of the BJP in that sense? Because largely anti-incumbency is a major point. But what is it like in Indoor? Well, in Indore,
overall, like I just mentioned, it is completely a mixed feeling after traveling the length and breadth for the past few days. We understood it's a very close contest and depending on the area and depending on the development of that area and the issues which were concerned and few were not addressed, uh, 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 you know, that's how a uh, few ones change. Of course, the anti-incumbency factor comes in and few are happy and once more and they would want once again BGP to come back to power and, you know, address more of their concerns and few definitely want to stay, especially when we go to the, when we visited the rural areas of Indore, we felt that people do expect change as far as education and cleanliness is concerned. The interiors uh, um, of Indore uh, is, uh, you know, not looked at is what uh, uh, the citizens uh, felt. Yes, yes, Akash Vijaywargya is contesting this time for the first time and hence Kailash Vijaywargya is just uh, not contesting because of the sun. The hmm. constituency which they demanded or wanted for Akash Vijaywargya was the Mao constituency which was Kailash's uh, seat but they did not get Usha Thakur is contesting from that seat and hence he will be contesting uh, he's contesting from Indore uh, 3 and that many are saying could be a little bit of setback for Akash uh, Vijaywargya but BJP is putting all its strength uh, uh, behind Akash Vijaywargya we have seen even star campaigner like Amit Shah has uh, started his roadshow uh, from Indore 3, uh, trying all their best uh, for Akash Vijaywargya uh, to win his first election. Right, those are the close contests and many such contests uh, across the state. We'll keep a close watch uh, with you. Parveen, thanks for joining us. Assembly polls in Mizoram are also underway. The Hill State is all set to pick their new government. Over 7.7 .7 lakh voters are eligible to cast their ballots and decide who will rule the state for the next five years. Well, polling in the 40-member assembly will decide the fate of 209 candidates. This is the only state in the Northeast where the Congress is currently in power. Mizoram elections is being viewed as a litmus test for the Congress party as they hope to retain their last bastion in the Northeast. For oh, Mizo people right now, the one that I think that holds the development of the state back the most is the fact that um, Certain people who are in power, who have the capacity to make a lot of change, are usually the ones uh, who don't, due to other reasons such as corruption, which we face a lot of in our country. And uh, I want a government that's not going to do that. Oh, our culture, our tradition, and our customs and our religion uh, should be should be safeguarded against all forces that can. Uh, deteriorated. This kind of a low-key election is what the people need because if you make too much noise it's not going to really matter. Yes, so right now I'm in the beautiful hill city of Aizol, that's the capital of Mizoram and we are outside the uh, combined middle school and this is the center where Chief Minister of uh, Mizoram uh, Lal Thana Haula will cast his vote from some time. We are waiting for him uh, to arrive here uh, so that we can get a reaction on what he thinks about these polls. Uh, but uh, uh, let me tell you that uh, this is the last bastion for the Congress that is left uh, here in the Northeast because all of the six states uh, in the Northeast are in the, uh, uh, are conquered by the BJP or their alliance parties. So, so right now, uh, this is the only state that is left for the Congress here in the Northeast. Uh, so this is a litmus state for the Congress as well as the BJP. So is the Congress going to uh, hold to its last best in the North or is the BJP uh, going to make inroads in the uh, in, in Mizoram uh, by winning the Mizoram Assembly polls? Uh, so around 7,70,000 voters will decide the fate of around 209 candidates here uh, in Mizoram. The main uh, key players, the main parties, it's a three-way fight between the Congress, BJP and the Mizoram National Front. Uh, the Congress uh, uh, has been uh, ruling the state for many years. The on the other hand, the BJP has never opened an account uh, in this state. Uh, but as of now, uh, what has been said is that the Mizuno National Front, uh, that is the party uh, of the um, Zoram Thanga, is going to be the kingmaker in these elections because uh, the people uh, think that it's not going to be a clear mandate for the Congress or the BJP. So it is going to be the MNF who is going to be a kingmaker uh, of whom they lend their support in forming the government here in Mizoram.